In this video, we're going to show you the main principles of how an oblique plane cuts a cylinder. In this video, the question is, you are given the elevation and plan of a, cil of a right cylinder. You are also given <coughs> the traces, show the projections of the cylinder as it has been cut by the oblique plane. The setup for this question is, VT is at 30 degrees, HT is at 80, the radius of the plan is 80 millimeters. The height of the elevation of the cylinder is 90 millimeters, and the XY line down to the center of the plan is 100 millimeters. So before we do the setup of this question, it's very important to understand that the elevation is the only part of this question that will change. The plan, which is a circle, is straight up. So none of these points are none of this circle can be altered at all. So we'll have to go up to elevation to find where it is cut. So we'll start off with our XY line and then onto our elevation of our cylinder, then project our plan and our VTH. So to start off this question with the force divider plan into 12 equal spaces. So that's divided in, dividing it up into 60 total degrees. Now we've got 12 points on the circumference of our circle. We're going to use these 12 points to find where the oblique plane cuts the cylinder. So we'll start off with this point here at the bottom. We have this point. So we're going to bring this point up parallel to HT. We're going to bring it up to VT. By doing this we get a height line, so we're going to bring this line across. But where does this line stop? Directly above your starting point. So bring up your point on your plan. So we'll go over that again, pick a point, go parallel to HT, bring this point up until it hits the line or trace VT, bring it across. And from the original point, bring that back up for a stop point. There's two points on our cut surface. So for the front of the cylinder, I'm going to continue. We're bringing all these points up parallel to HT. Bring these three points up until they hit VT. Bring them across until they're directly above the starting position. And bring it up. That there is our cut line for the front of the cylinder. The points at the back of the cylinder are done the very same way as the front of the cylinder. We bring all our points parallel to HT, bring it up to VT to find our height and project it over until it's directly above the point in plan. Then we join all these together find our core. As you can see this point here is above the actual cylinder so we can join this point to this point down and we'll find where the cut surface hits or ends at the top of the cylinder. From this point here we can bring it down to where it hits the circumference and we can also bring the other point and it hits the circumference. So bring that's our surface, that's our core and Here's our finishing. As you can see, the cut surface does not go through the whole cylinder, it stops at the top. This is our line on the top of this is our segment on the top of the cylinder. And you can see in the plan, as I said at the start of the question, the outline for the plan is not altered at all. So that's how you cut a cylinder with an oblique plane. 